Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn, where, well, hello, where Carter is finishing up his uh, midnight snack of some uh, oh, cream of corn of some kind, corn porridge. But um, yeah, day five, midnight, so just starting day five, ended last episode with that ominous music playing, so the guess is that we've got a bug attack coming in today, and what that means without our railgun sniper so i'm still playing it only on medium difficulty so it shouldn't be much I mean, a dozen bugs coming at us that's that's a guess we'll see if that's what it turns out to be but what do we do when we don't have weapons and know that we don't have weapons I'll pause here and think for a minute i was wondering about putting together do we Oh, we don't even have fencing yet. Oh, wait a minute. Defense. Fences are in defense. Uh huh. What if we were to fence? Um, hmm. I guess wooden, though it means we got to go up there and get them. We have the sticks already down here, but it's only 10 integrity. So, wooden will give us a chance, though you know, this is much better, but this is just a, an experiment. But what if we were to put together something like, oh, there, there, and some kind of a, just a little opening, and then something like that. Let's get rid of that one section, and a gate down over here. Defense, uh, that would be a fence door. Okay. You're oh, somewhere convenient. There you go. Right there. So, our four survivors in here. Bugs funneling in, but there's only one space available, so they got a single file their way in. We're sitting right here with spears and, and whatever, and just boom, 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 boom. That way they can't surround us and hit each of us with four of them, you know, gang, ganging up on us all at once. That might work. Let's let things run and maybe throw that together real quick and just just see uh, see what that does. Just I was scratching my head in between episodes trying to figure out how we're gonna. We had a really easy last time. When I turn all these back on, when I started up, I figured by putting the uh, our four old characters back in, everything would just be the way it was. I forgot that that we had used random characters to get them the first time and you get a little bonus for for uh, not knowing who you're getting and what skills you're getting they'll throw in some railgun snipers for free just to tempt you to take it and I think we got you know four pretty good uh, characters here so that was actually a great uh, great roll of the dice there but it didn't happen twice in a row so <laughs> okay so that is the experiment for this bug attack and we can convince two people to transport materials in and then Carter can get in there and, and do the building and we'll see how that works. I think we can pull that off quick enough. The bugs give us, I think, six hours after they're announced anyway. So, yeah, it's, it's nighttime, nothing's going on, but yeah, it's a good opportunity to wander around and see if anything new has popped in. I'm trying to remember what day it was last time when... I looked around, all of a sudden all these extra animals were, were had spawned into our area. So, Pankoth. Oh, they, that's right, they roost in the trees at night. Let's set you guys up to... Can't get you, huh? I know there's one in there. Wow. No, it will not let me have it. Interesting. Okay, but uh, yeah, it'd be fun to observe that one more time. But, ah, uh, we need to get this going today. We need the cotton for the bows. Yeah, so that's a necessity. So, hmm. Maybe Simon can head out here, and Rita and Paulette can help transport materials along with Carter to get this built. And we'll see how that goes. So yeah, we've got to get uh, got to get cotton going. And do we have cotton anywhere else? I'm trying to remember last time. I think that was it. Uh, I've lost it already. Here, I think that's all there is. And then we grew a bunch. 
I mean, there's more way, way out somewhere. Like, okay, there's... Nope. I do know I found some last time when I was wandering around at night. But it was so far away, it wasn't worth it. Anything right up in here? There's some. How far are you? Yeah, you're a pretty good distance. Let's try to remember that's there, and maybe that's a fallback. If that's all that's needed to finish off four bows, then yeah. Okay, these guys are up. Carter ate late, so he's sleeping in. And he'll get the queue at 7 to get his butt out of bed anyway. Simon is making weapons, and I'm very thankful for that. So, yeah, let's not bother him then. Let's make Paulette go out there and work on cotton. And as soon as 8 o'clock hits, we'll send everybody out to build our, what do we call this? Our uh, bug chute. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a corral or a, a chute that you would send cattle into to, to force them into a single file line. Discussed her fears of local predators with Rita. So is that a happy thing or a bad thing? Um, was pleased by Rita, so Rita agreed. Yep, they're bad. Okay, Carter's taking a walk. We, some of us are getting in our relaxation, whereas Rita is getting hers in by cooking. So she's the only one that's got two different interests, cooking and farming. So she has two chances of getting a plus 18 all during the day. Now you are what, just begging to be uh, tamed and turned into a friend? <laughs> I've, well, I've never noticed uh, their faces before. These things hanging down and wobbling all around. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, that might, might, might be fun to make a kite out of one of those. Okay, you're constructing a fence. Perfect. Simon is crafting. Paulette is sitting. We're at 8 o'clock. It's time to go to work. So, Paulette, can you... Is there such a thing as transport? There is, but not in a command. I see. Oh. Paulette does not have a sufficient skill level. Okay, Rita, what can you do here? Insufficient skill level? Carter, can you even make it? You can. But apparently the others can't even haul the wood. You're all on your own, Carter. Yeah, you gotta go up there and get a haul of that wood that we hauled all the way up there. <laughs> Any left in the on the ground over here? No, you did a good job of cleaning that up. Yeah, okay. Well, you do your thing there. So, Paulette, let's get you out there to discover what this this white plant is. Ah, there you are. We need that in our armoire, our armor, our armory. Is that what I'm trying to say? Yeah, we need it. We need it available to us. Um, let's observing. Okay, there you go. Rita is eating. Eating what? Oh, you look at that. She is eating the syrup. I'd rather you didn't. I'd rather you ate a meal. But... So can I tell Simon to... Eat sweet syrup? You can do it. Okay. But let's start cooking with it. Okay? Um, I do need... Glitter caps harvested. Lost harvest. Yeah. Let's harvest some of these so that uh, we can start seeing them in their recipes and crafting. You can't tell we harvest the first one. We don't have access to anything. Order harvest. So grab you. And in fact, let's just grab everything over here and say glitter caps and harvest. Is there any more hiding in there? Glitter caps. Now, any hiding in here? New. So where else is not too far away? Did my, I miss anything in that area? Uh, glitter caps. There is apparently one more hiding in there. Okay. So Rita. Um, boy, they're scattered all over the place. And I didn't mean to do that. Let's cancel those. So where can I send Rita that she's not just going to get one and then leave? I don't know. Um, oh, there's so many there, and 
No, that's just the ground cover. That's not glitter caps. Okay, so Rita, let's... Let's head over here. And... Harvest. I guess I can then tell you to... Harvest and... Uh, pull out... There it is. Harvest. And should do those as a chain. Hopefully she'll pick them up as a chain. That I don't know. So Carter is constructing a fence. That's right. When we threw that fence in over here, that's all he wanted to do is build that fence. So apparently fences have a much higher priority. You must only be putting a fence up when you really need to put a fence up. <laughs> okay. Um, what else on my list? Um... I noticed that Simon is not getting his bonus for doing something that he really likes. Yeah, he's not unlike Rita, who interested in farming. She's got a plus 18. Simon is over here crafting. Uh, Simon's skills say he's interested. Pop over here to activities. He is right now crafting. And it says over there, Simon Frumos is interested. So, it, I, I am reading that right, right? It doesn't say disinterested. No, it's interested. He should be getting a plus 18, and he's not. That's the whole reason I moved him over into there instead of, uh, and instead of uh, research. And he's not getting any benefit from it. So, in that case, Paulette is better at it, faster at it. Um, activities, craft. Yeah, Paulette is is uh, the one that's, that could do this the quickest. And if Simon's not getting any benefit out of it, then I may as well swap them out. Um, she's just gotten over there, though. So I guess I'll leave them as they are. But maybe I'll swap them out as soon as he's done with this one sword. You know, or spear. I think I will do that. Paulette, come on back over here. Why don't you come over here and sit? Sorry for the, the long trip for no reason, but by the time you get here, he will have just finished. I'm going to swap you two out. Simon, you otherwise are in great shape. One more time. Did it just pop in at the last second? Nothing. So nothing that says that you're enjoying what you're doing. Unless weapon smithing is not the same as crafting, I suppose that's possible. If I were to do this and say until we have 10, and then quickly shift you over to that just out of curiosity, um, it's right there. So you can put that on a shelf and then pause. If I have you then make um, healing bomb. Okay, let's let you get started with that. And Paula, you just, you just, you ran in, so you can take a break. Uh, where did you go? What? You gotta go over there to get it? But you're doing it. Interested in crafting. Well, you look at that. So weapon smithing doesn't count. Hmm. And it seems like last series we had him so a hat and I don't think there was anything listed either so very specifically crafting he enjoys okay well in that case um, Simon cancel you Paulette come on over and craft another spear and that will get all of us with some kind of a weapon on us who's around here Carter's eating so Carter when you're done come over and equip the spear and that is the only weapon floating around right now. Okay. Uh, unarmed 2. Soon will be unarmed 1. So, Simon, now... <laughs> yeah, I'm going to make you walk all the way out over here. Can you come over and observe that guy? And, Rita, how you doing? You are transporting. Good. I'm curious where else you've got... Probably never be able to find it. Uh, there was some over here. What is that? Can't tell. 
So I don't know if she's picked them all up or not. But luckily I don't have to find those myself. They, when they're on transporting mode, they'll just keep going to the next closest one and eventually they'll get everything. But glitter caps need to be planted. Is that what this one is? That one's glitter caps. And um, how are we doing over here? Hey, you brought all the materials. Great. Okay. So Rita, when you're done, I was going to say you can cut those out, but probably should just get you planting something. I really should. Harvesting. Yeah, let's, we've got 90 of those in stock. Let's get that planted. And then let's get this planted. Let's get the growth beginning. What are we doing with this guy? Part of me just says, you know, set him to hunt and get rid of him. But he's not doing anything. He's not harming anything. He's actually kind of, kind of interesting. Yeah, that face reminds me of a Star Wars character. I can't think of the name right now. But yeah, we we'll just, well, we'll name him Harvey. <laughs> okay, Paulette is. She's collected all the materials. How fast is she? Yeah, I mean, we can actually see it moving, so it's happening. Should be twice as fast as what uh, Simon could do. So Carter's finishing off our fencing. Rita's planting. So what do you think of this idea? If we position ourselves two with spears, one with the laser pistol, and one with the the stun, the... What is that? Actually, that one called the... Pulse Rifle. Emits pulse waves which slow down or stun all hostiles on their way. And just kind of lock them into this little chute right here and then attack them. So I think that is a way to take down at least these uh, early bugs that are going to be coming at us. Carter is transporting soup. Someone drop soup on the, on the floor? That's a, oh, you're taking it out of the oven. Okay. Sure. Helping out Rita. Okay, so we have some more meals on there. And you're transporting... I'm guessing up here it's... Oh, you found more of the glitter caps. All right, well, let's have you instead take these bushes down. So, Carter, can you cut seven of those? And that clears a pathway for Rita to be able to plant the glitter caps. And Simon... Yeah, you should plow through that twice as fast as Paulette was going to. Though I don't know if you're going to get it done today. And we don't have our attack yet. We're at 1600, 4 in the afternoon. So maybe that music is entirely random. It is possible. Just an interesting coincidence, that's all. Okay, so Carter is making fast work of that. Simon out there. Paulette is already halfway done. Great. And that will put a spear onto Simon. And that gives all of us some kind of a weapon for whatever comes our way. So, what is next? Any more 30s in here? There's one. Let's get... Just keep marking these guys as we find them. We're going to need pretty much this... At least the core of this whole forest taken down in order to build the housing we have planned. Uh, that looks... nope. 22. There's a 30. It is nice that you can selectively cut these and get the most out of them that you can. We, it seems like we have a lot of trees here, but before long, we won't have a lot of trees here. And I think if you leave them, they might very well regrow in the sense that new trees may grow under the old trees, but we're going to be, uh, yeah, we'll see. We're taking all the 30s, but we are leaving some of these 20s and whatnot. We'll see if new trees are able to spawn underneath them or around them in the space that we where we took the 30s out. Who's running? I guess that was Carter. Okay. So Paulette's almost done. Great. Rita's almost done. Oh, it takes quite a bit. Quite a bit of time to, to grow, all, to plant all that. How you doing otherwise? You're in good shape. When you're done with this one, that may be time to break you loose. Uh, Simon, 
He'll probably be able to finish that tonight. He might be cranky when he comes back, but I think he can finish that. Um, Carter, you are doing all the handling right now. We have to we have shrooms. We do. First of all, let's make sure they don't get cooked. So let's deal with that first. No glitter caps in there. Um, porridge. Awaiting materials. I wish I knew what that meant. You look at this more closely. One thing I see is that it needs 10 grain and 10 buttermelon. And we have 127 grain and 261 buttermelon. Uh, no, 200, 226 buttermelons. So we're not lacking anything. We have 10 fuel. So does awaiting materials just... Is that just another way of saying, yeah, we're, it, as soon as you bring it to the stove, you can cook it? Or does that mean we there's a, something missing? I don't know. Uh, device uses sticks, quick and tasty. There's no... I... No idea. Anyway, you are handling a wall torch. Let's have you tear this one down. Uh, deconstruct. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. Paulette, do we not have any meals? I, I understand that... Do you get a bonus out of that? Right there. I don't see that you're getting... Okay, who ate the other one? That was Rita. There. Is there a way to say... Yeah, there is a way. Let's not eat any more of our sweet syrup. Let's save that for cooking. So, let's go here and... Boy. Raw foods. Other. Alright. No. No. And... No. Alright. No more drinking the, uh, the nectar right out of the can. There are no meals? But... Because somebody else is already queued up. Okay. Why can't I get this to pop? That's weird. Okay, let's go over here. Right there. Eat grain porridge and eat veggie soup. Why are they defaulting to eating the raw vegetables? I don't know. There was, it wasn't uh, unavailable to us, so they were, she could have, I don't know, stop guessing, you're <laughs> never going to figure it out. Anyway, um, I want lighting, new, no. um, leisure, shroom torch, let's put you in, oh, I can put it in nice and tight, put you in there, and let's drop another one in. Right there. Let me think here. Walkway wise. Let's put it right there. That gives us two different shroom torches. And Carter is handling a wall torch. As soon as you're done, let's go ahead and do that. Maybe we can get that in tonight. So Rita is just finishing up her planting. One row left. And then let's give her a break. Simon is unarmed. Yeah? Are you telling me that for some scary reason? No. <laughs> he's out here in the dark and he's a little worried? Could be. How are you doing? You're almost there. As soon as you come back in... Oh, what you're saying is Paulette just finished a spear. Is that what just happened? There it is right there. Okay, so Paulette has gone back to researching. And what is she researching? Antibiotics. Okay, in case this next attack doesn't go that well, we'd better have some antibiotics. Yep. So Shroom Torch is being built. Takes shrooms and stone. Okay, and there we go. There's our torch for this area. Eventually, maybe another one over here. If we do get the other bench in. I'll watch him build this one this time. OK. 
Okay, grab the stone blocks. And Rita has moved on. Let's give Rita a break. And grab some knee. Okay. And he thinks that is just the greatest thing. Cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's see. Simon, you are pretty much done. One little nub there and you're finished. So that kind of wraps up another day here. And no attack. Okay. More I, I take a look. More I look at that, the more I think that's uh, that's gonna work. Discover cloth blossom. This plant blooms in beautiful big flowers, which go through a remarkable metamorphosis. Metamorphosis. Let's say that one right. Forming fibrous white balls. I believe that they are similar to cotton and can be used in the production of cloth. So Cloth Blossom seems like a fitting name. Harvesting and planting. All right, so Simon, you are grabbing a meal. I guess I'm going to have to zoom down. There we go. going to have to forbid. Grab a veggie soup. Now, these aren't... No, 46%, 81%. I'm hearing flies. I hear the flies, but I don't see anything that is rancid or going, you know, rotting. Huh. Maybe the flies just show up wherever there's food automatically. Okay. Especially when it is uh, open shelving like that. We're not in an enclosed building. Okay, so you grab something to eat, and it was the porridge that was almost... Yeah, we've got to get that porridge eaten up tonight, or tonight or tomorrow. So you're making more of it. I wonder how that works when they stack. So porridge is 46, 45%. Let's let her finish and add it to the pile, and see if <laughs> I still hear those flies. See if that 46% changes. You know, it goes up to an average of 56% or something. In which case, if you keep making more, you keep kicking your average up, nothing ever rots. Pretend not to hear Simon's concerns. Yeah, Simon and Carter, they will always drive each other nuts. All right, so 45%. Um, let's have you transport. You can't. Interesting. Is it not still... Oh, were you working on pies? I guess you were. I thought you were working on porridge. Awaiting materials. Oh, I'm looking at this differently now. So it's next in queue, and it's waiting for someone to deliver those materials. Is that right? So, did she not make any more great porridge? I guess she didn't. Huh. There's three there. There's three there specifically. Or if you do the whole thing, you get everything. Okay, that's making sense. You guys are going to sleep. Just listening for little snoring noises. Nope. They're quiet. I wonder if we get any rumbling tonight. Rumbling, that's right. How are we on... That's next. Okay, in only three hours. So what do we do then? Do we continue the same plan of having Paulette become our researcher? I mean, a little more practice, she's going to catch up to Simon and vice versa, Simon to her. It's reversing the roles that they're already trained to do. And the only benefit happens is when Simon actually crafts rather than makes weapons or makes clothing or anything else. I don't know that it's worth it. So, okay, while well, it's running on normal speed tonight, let's redo their schedules. So that means that Paulette gets the crafting right through here. So two, two, and two. Simon was those. So Simon now gets a 
three, three, and three. He gets these guys. That's his one. She's capable of it. We could leave her on twos there. Okay. Um, now, one thing, she was actually disinterested in something. Disinterested gives them a negative 18 when you make them do it. Unfortunately, hers is combat. That's a hard thing to suddenly get a negative 18 and have your mood drop right when you got to go to war. So that's a little frustrating. Simon is indifferent about construction. So indifferent meaning we don't want him to do any construction. Or it will uh, it will give him a negative. <clears throat> Carter is not plus or minus on anything. So we could put the others into construction at least as a five so they are capable of it but they don't have any skills in it do they no no one does which it might be wise to skill somebody up in case something ever happens to carter because some jobs can't be done like fencing without a, a minimum amount a minimum skill level hmm yeah let me go over here while i'm talking See if I hear any of that rumbling I heard a few episodes back. That was the clue that a thunderstorm was on its way. I was right here, and I don't hear anything. Um, okay, so in that case, Paulette, you are going to take over crafting, tailoring, and you also enjoyed cooking, didn't you? Uh, Paulette is a four on cooking, and she is a a uh, four on crafting. She could fill in. That means it is... Okay, so if I were to make these ones, she would be sure to do these first, but if there was nothing to craft or tailor, she could then fill in and do the cooking for Rita, who is also sharing the cooking with her planting duties. So both of them sharing cooking hmm I don't know I have to experiment with that you can take a look at that oh yeah. dudes I'm, I'm recording here um, you can pause right here and take a look at that and give me your thoughts on what you would do but Rita go ahead and har yeah, go ahead and harvest these I guess so um it will take the place of your of your uh, recreation time anyway. So Simon is going to research. You got something done. You just flew right through that. And you're flying right through uh, the other one too. Yeah, Simon, you need to be our researcher. That's just all there is to it. Antibiotics, in all likelihood, at least one local fungi could be used in the production of antibiotics. Let's mix some moldy dirt and a lot of grain in a fermented barrel and see what we get. <laughs> okay. So that let's drop over here like we did last time. Um, that would be production? Yeah, fermentation barrel. Wooden one. Let's put two of those in place. And when Carter gets up, he'll dive into that. He's got transporting first. I'd rather he was doing construction, but I guess at the moment we really don't have any construction to do. So, yeah, that, that works out fine. You could clear some more um, of this for us, but let's wait till after your recreation time is done. How are you doing, anyway? Uh, you're right there. Good mood. Everything's fine. You don't even need to eat right now. Okay, then let's have you do that next. Come on out here and cut these ten bushes. And when you're done, yeah, cut these five. Okay, so that's finished. Rita, you went to stare at the shrooms. Oh, two people can do it at once. Okay, shared a fear of remaining stranded. Simon nodded. What does that do? Um, you were angered by Paulette, but you were pleased by Simon. Okay, so you aren't going to tell me what you're up to. Um... I don't know what you're up to. You're just taking a walk? Yeah, you're still taking a walk. You really don't need it. You're in fine shape. Let's have you do something more important. What is that? 
Um, how long do the pumpkins last on the shelf? So let's take a look at that. Do I go out and get more? 92% grain lasts for quite a while too. The We've got to get rid of... Oh, the grain porridge did add two more and it did increase its shelf life by the law of averaging in there. So that helped. So in that case, Rita, you probably should just get back to planting. We've got enough in stock as far as raw materials for cooking for quite a while. So if you can get back into planting that and planting that and cloth blossom. Oh, we got to get that going. And then we need to get it harvested too over there. Yeah, lots to do, lots to do. Uh, farming cloth blossom and you like this area. I don't really need this walkway between them. I just kind of started that because it felt right, but how far can I go with Cloth Blossom? I can go to there and sure, let's let's do that. So what was the other thing that popped in? Fruit bushes. We've got a lot of those around, so let's not waste space on that just yet. Lightning Rod. And same thing with Heptagonias. We've got plenty of those at the moment. So that gives us one, two, three, four. Okay, we're caught up on farming. And lightning rods. Let's get that built. Um, ah, I see. So Carter is going to go do that. Now that I have something for him to actually construct. Let's get the lightning rod set. And then we'll have him get back to construction. Um, orders, power, lightning rod. We want to protect this area probably here. And then another one out here. Yeah, I think that works. Carter reached physical four. And Carter, after this, you can... Did you finish? There. Draft, undraft. You go ahead and grab something to eat. That looks like veggie soup. Can I get you to eat the porridge? Let's have you instead eat some porridge. That's going to go bad first. Uh, Paulette is crafting, getting another... Yeah, we still want to spear on everybody, even the ones that have guns. In case they got to drop back into melee as something goes biting at their ankles. Um, so where is everyone? Simon is eating. So everyone's eating porridge right now. Rita's planting, happy as can be. Simon is researching. What is next? So you've been plowing through this stuff. Tailoring is next. Get us the alloys. Uh, coffee would be great to get in there. Wooden fortifications. Actually, building. Let's get construction going. We need to be able to start uh, getting ourselves into a, into a building soon. Yeah. So that gives us one empty space. Uh, nothing down below that we have access to. We do want to, as quick as we can, get back into what we lost right there. So we need carbon nanotubes. Ah, uh, that's why the bug attack. Yeah. Uh, electronic crafting bench is where? Pause. I feel like I'm missing stuff out there. Where is the advanced research desk? Okay. Where is the electronics? I guess I have to get electric grid going. That would make sense. But I can't access that until we make metal alloys. Okay. Metal alloys definitely opens up a lot of stuff for us. Rita's planting. Carter is constructing a fermentation barrel. He's going up to get some, some wood. And Paulette's making or spears. and yeah, Everything's going well right now. Um, anything new going on out here? Lightning rods are in place. Blueprints. I uh, got a little calf. I thought there were two of those out here. One of those birds took one down. Yeah. Do we start to think about some hunting now? I think we got enough of our basics done that we could... Hmm. Not necessarily hunting, but we could be cleaning up the leftovers of any animal battles. That's possible. These guys are getting along just fine. 
That's nice to see. What's up in here? And can I queue up any more of these? Harvest. Right there. So I should get her out here next and go ahead and get uh, Harvest. There we go. So Rita... It's hard to pull her off a of planting, though. That is important. It really is. Okay. So we'll let you finish that as long as you're willing to do it. You are average mood. You're in great shape. You've had a meal. No, you haven't had a meal. You're going to go do that now. Then let's get you to eat up the last of the grain porridge. What's left in here? Not two left. Okay, and veggie soup is the next thing to go through. Paulette is looking for wood to make her last spear. So Rita, you're going to default to cooking. Let's tell you specifically, go ahead and plant those. And then maybe I'll have you come out and... Harvest the grain cob right after that. And that'll finish up your day. Okay. Anything else that Simon... Oh, oh, that's right. We need to get this harvested. Uh, harvest you. And we can do all of it. Okay. So, Rita, when you're done, pretending not to hear Simon's concerns. <laughs> now, can I reset all of your... Well, let's do it this way. Let's have you think about things. Okay, let's have you plant... And then come out here, plant them, and then harvest them. Next, right there, 12 of them. Good. And once that's in stock, we can queue up bow and arrows. And once the first furnace is in and we make our first alloy, we can queue up uh, uh, crossbows. Then we should be sitting in pretty good shape until we get the electric grid going and get into electronics uh, production. And then that should get us into weapons, more advanced weapons. Okay, wow, Simon's plowing through another uh, research already. All right, so once that's done, we'll get the tailoring going, and then Paulette can move from spears into uh, boots or something. Um, actually, then it means we probably want to get the leather research so we can start making some armor. That's possible. Yeah. Ah, uh, so many possibilities. Nothing new going on out there. Sunset happening. Boy, colors get vibrant. Yeah. What's up here? So you're just camped out on the side of the hill there. We have tailoring. Let's look at some of these. So we saw antibiotics. Lightning rods. Lightning strikes are unpredictable but easy to catch. A tall enough metal rod should suffice. Tailoring. The inevitable, inevitable decay of our spaceship uniforms require us to sketch up some crude shirt, jacket, pants, boots, and hat blueprints. They could be crafted from various textiles or leathers on a dedicated tailor bench. I think we... Oh, Simon is unarmed. So, he just finished the research. Let's go ahead and make that happen right now. Simon, why don't you equip a spear? Looks like there's two on there. Oh, that's right. So, Paulette, you also will equip a spear. Uh, there goes Simon. Let's have Paulette do it now. I have put it in queue, but... Let's get that done. You make the last one, we'll have Rita grab that. Okay. So Simon's over there. Rita was going to plant. Let's have you over here right now. We're kind of running out of daytime. So harvest those guys. And did that break your pattern? It did not. You're going to continue planting. So Rita, draft, undraft. And come on over here and harvest. And that should give you just enough time to get out there, do the harvesting, and hopefully haul them back. Since I've set the harvest order, is that enough to let the weapons bench? 
Uh, craft weapons? No. We have to have some in stock. Okay. Anything else? Uh, 20 sticks and fabric or cotton or leathers. Okay. Which means we got to choose what not to make it out of. All right. So Carter is cutting trees. Carter. Oh. Very good. You chose those first. Okay. So where are we at now? Researching. Let's go watch Rita. See how how quickly she does this. You just kind of get lost in there, don't you? There you are. So, 10 each. So we're going to get 120 out of this. Okay. Good. Hopefully I don't have to tell you to go bring it in when you're done. Yeah, I'll, I'll stay right here. We can watch what's happening up in there. Just taking a look at our horizons. The graphics in this game are quite stunning. Very well done. Makes it feel like you're there. Are you suddenly harvestable? Oh, you are. One more time. Then will you pick it up automatically? Or did I just cancel everything? There you go, transporting, transporting, and transporting. All right, 130 coming in. Okay, well that one is done. Now let's go look at that weapons bench. And that just got me to thinking. Oh, excuse me. Are you, does it say you're eating? You look like you're eating, but that just might be your normal animation. This particular plant, 100% um, health. They say that to tame the animals, you've got to notice what they enjoy eating and then provide a treat as you're trying to train them with from that one, uh, that, that particular kind of vegetable or fruit or what have you. So maybe there's going to be a time where we need to start paying attention. Um... Let's see, let's, i got two things I'm thinking of. Tailoring, we need to get the tailoring bench in, but short bows are available now. So, make you out of, we only have cloth available. So give me four of these, and that is next in line. So, awaiting a worker for spear, meaning she's not quite finished with her two times. So, spear, spear. She's got a spear. You're making the other spear. Let's take this down by one. You're making one more, and I had put in five, so to have one on a shelf. But let's just do the one and be thankful and move on to bows. And then Taylor's bench is this side. Uh, production. Taylor bench out of wood. Right there. You'll get the benefit of the shroom light next to you as well. And... Once that's done, we can set uh, orders. Otherwise, Rita hasn't made it in yet. Oh, who was I? Hmm, I thought I was looking at her. Okay, you're you're going to be getting in late tonight. Right at midnight. Okay, Carter's gone to bed. Rita, you need food? No, you're actually fine. You can probably just go straight to sleep and get up with everybody else. Let's set you for antibiotics. Um, ferment, you guys, give me four rounds. That's 200 of the grain. We have grain 117. So Rita does need to go do some grain harvesting tomorrow. And food-wise, where are we at now? You guys are 55%. You guys are at 43%. We only have five meals left. So if Rita were to go out and get the grain and then come back and then leave her alone, she would default to cooking and get us built up again. I think that works. Carter, soon, you're going to get to start working on her cabin again. 
But let's get everybody some coffee first, just in case, because we are definitely getting to the point where these are wearing off. Actually, there's only the one left. The we have survived is gone. So the 50 is, is degrading. We got two and a half more days of that. Uh, appreciated decoration. So that is the shroom lights. Decently fed. Another survivor? What? Edmund. My name is Edmund. I believe we've met on the ship. My escape pod cr crashed badly and everyone else died. I fended on my own as best I could, but my rations ran out quickly and I started losing hope. I walked in the wild for days after seeing smoke from this direction. Please let me stay with you. Of course you're welcome to stay. We will take any survivors. Edmund, where are you? You are running in. There's Edmund. And he has a hat. Uh -huh. What else does he have? Uh, Edmund inventory. He doesn't have a railgun sniper. Oh, well. Um, we need that fifth weapon now, don't we? Yeah. Um, you could probably take Rita's to begin with. She's going to be great with that, uh, with that pistol. So she, I doubt anything would be able to sneak up on her. You are officially doing what? Why are you running to a tree? Um... You're idling. Okay. You have no bed. Ah. Uh, okay. Well, I hadn't planned on this, but um, I guess for the moment we could just stick a bed off here to the side so that they won't bother you and you won't bother them and you can get some sleep. So camp, sleep spot, and let's pop you in kind of right in the center right there. Edmund. Why don't you construct a sleep spot and then go ahead and get something to get some sleep. And I could draft you and get you here a lot faster. There you go. Wow. Five survivors. I've seen Edmund on another playthrough on YouTube and he's quite... Uh, we'll take a look at his, his stats here in a little bit. But let's undraft you... And let's have you construct it and then go to sleep. Actually, you don't need any sleep. So you're good for a day. Okay. So you do whatever you want. And I'm going to 3 in the morning. Let's shift over so we can kind of see things in the background. He's handling fermentation barrel. Let's manage activities. Edmund. Well, let's, let's pop into you here first. That would be a little bit easier. Your... Um, skills. So you do not like farming. You are pretty good with intellect. Ah, so we can get you out there observing everything else that needs to be observed. You got some physical, you, you're decent at combat, and you know your way around a stove at least enough to, uh, to not burn the milk. <laughs> um, and you can do a little bit of healing. Okay, so let's let that run. Uh, anything else about him? Let's let's go ahead and read him. Edmund. So, who is Edmund? He never did back down from a fight as a kid. No matter the size of the bully or how bad they would mess with him. I mess him up. In his ongoing stand against the bully, he became an investigative journalist, exposing people who others avoid writing about out of fear for their own lives. Attempts to silence him are nothing new, and each one adds an inspirational story to the journal of his life. So he is an inspirational writer. He relaxes by writing short stories that inspire others when they read them. He's a quick sleeper. He rests twice as fast. Nice. He's a glutton. He eats 25% faster. Oh, not more, just faster. Oh, no, no, I take that back. He gets hungry 25% faster. Okay. So he will eat more often. Okay. He His favorites are buttermelon pie and smoking. Okay. That's good to know. Anything else that was important? His health is okay. Um, don't know what these are about. Since he's got no injuries. It's dark. Might be because it's dark. And there's something in a tree over there. 
Hancock or something that's making some ungodly noises. He is the son of Carter. Oh! Carter is the father of Edmund. And doesn't like Simon. <laughs> wow! Okay. Well, Carter and Edmund were on the ship together and they got separated. Well, that's... I wonder if they have any interactions with each other as a result. I don't know. Where are you going to land? There you go. And there you're gone again. Okay, because Edmund came by. Constructing a tailor bench. So, he does not want anything to do with farming. Um, but let's go ahead and... Let's just set his sleep for there. He can stay up a little bit later. He's allowed to stay up later. <laughs> that, and we'll set you relax there. Okay. Um, Edmund is constructing a tailor bench. So let's get Edmund directly working on Disturb Sleep. Yeah, let's do that right now. Can you research leather for us? Observe that. And let's not wake everybody up. Thank you. Um, so let's get to where I thought I had gotten to but never did. So he is our best healer at the moment. So you're a one at that point. Otherwise, handle everybody is a two. Construction, you want nothing to do with it. it right? You're indifferent? Yeah. And just like uh, hunting, Paulette is indifferent. So we have a, nothing there. Okay. Um, you're decent at combat, so you'll stay right there. So harvest. Um, there, Edmund. Wait a minute. Construction. Simon is indifferent. Oh, okay. Never mind. What was that? He is unarmed. Yeah. So actually, you are capable. So we'll leave you at a five. All right. So harvest is where you go away there. So you want nothing to do with that or that or that. That is farming. Yeah. Cutting, though, doesn't count as that. Physical is where is what rates that one. So I'll leave you right there. Scavenge. Hmm. Let's make you a two in scavenge. Yeah. You can get in there and do it when Carter is busy working on his uh, on, on the log cabin. Or you can even help Carter with the cabin. Ooh, we can get the cabin built twice as fast this time. Oh, I like that. Your physical is decent. I'll leave you there. Cooking. Um, you can. I'll pop you in as a two there. Crafting, you're not... Yeah, you're a five on all of the craftings. But you are a 2 on Observe, a 2 on Research, and a 2 on Deliver. So we'll see where you just kind of fill in to some of those things. Carter shared fears about their safety with Paulette. So that's a positive thing, I'm pretty sure. Carter, Paulette, pleased by. Okay, so you in, this, in general. So Edmund... Son of Carter, opinion negative 20. Ah. So, Carter is proud of his son, but Edmund is not too keen on him. Is that what I'm getting out of that? Yeah. Um, Simon. Aggressive animals. 18. Ooh. Okay. You are located... Where are we? Okay, you're quite a ways away. And you will probably just go and start chewing on things over here. Okay. So, four in the afternoon, they're going to hit. All right. By then, Edmund might have the weapon in his hand. I don't know. Um, what happened with that? It's right there. Okay, by two or three, let's have him walk in to get a weapon. Okay. I'm going to leave a pause here so I can think about what's going on. So, Carter, you are constructing the tailor bench. You're going to finish the job there. Okay. And that's fine. That's been done. In fact, let's 
change that. Just one, and over here, let's put another one. So they can both be working at the same time. One. Okay. So, getting that for that. So you're making foods. I was going to have you do what? I was going to have you harvest some more of the uh, grains. Let's do that real quick. Let's send you all the way out over here to harvest. And... Rita. I can't click on it again. I can click on that one. It's over here. That's interesting. There we go. And grab you two as well. And then, yeah, pop over here and do these four. Eh, what the heck. Do these two. Just make a big loop. You are eating it? Let's see here. Yep, you are. These guys like grain. Note to self. Okay, so grain cob might be what we train them with. But we aren't, uh, we haven't got the research yet to even think about it. You are transporting, what does transporting mean? Oh, you're just picking it up and bringing it back. Let's get you doing something more important. Let's get you uh, cutting trees. Okay. So that's that. Actually, let's get you scavenging the landing pod. Let's do that instead. There's still a chance of pulling a weapon out of there. Okay. New resource, healing bomb. So Paulette has made the first of those. That's good timing. we got a battle coming up. Um, all right, so 9 in, in the morning. So we got a ways before Edmund has to come and grab this thing. Let's think about other things. Let's have you work on a short bow immediately. Uh, let's try that again right there. Uh, we don't have enough glitter caps for more of those anyway. Okay, so Paulette, you are officially... Ah, uh, you're grabbing some cotton. Which... Oh, you're grabbing the sticks. Okay. Sticks, let's watch her set this up. Simon is eating. What is that? Oh, that must be veggie soup. Uh, lost harvest. Guess there's no way... To... Yeah, that looks like the veggie soup symbol. Okay. I guess I haven't seen it from that angle before. Looks like a plate instead of a bowl. So you are grabbing all of the supplies. Let's see you put this together. How long have I been recording? A little over an hour. So we'll get through this battle, get through this day. And call this one done. Alright, so you work on a bow. Oh. Apparently everything with a weapon looks like you're making a, a sword. Okay. Um, what was that last thing? We scavenged. Okay. Um, instead of hauling that back, let's go ahead and have you scavenge again. Just leave it sit there. And Rita's harvesting. And we'll get some of that brought back in. The bugs are... They're not where I thought they were. Okay. Reached a research metal refinement. Where are the bugs now? Oh, they're further away. Okay, so we're going to let them come to us. We want to butcher them. We want to grab the meat and make some meat soups or something. I'm curious to see if they aggressively go after these guys on their way. We might get some free uh, butchering out of that, but they're going to cross their path. We're going to let them come to us. We're going to give this a try. Let's see how that works. So do we have anybody naturally walking out there? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything queued up in that area. Except there is something lit up right there. Uh, glitter caps to harvest. So we'll watch Rita. Uh, Rita is harvesting these. And then she's got some food to make. Yeah. So that is the last of what we've queued up. I think so. If not, we'll make it the last. I think we've uh, we've done enough for, for this right now. So you, yeah. Let's go ahead and haul in grain. You'll get these. Maybe you'll get that one, too. Hope so. Yeah, there you go. And there's no other grain on the way home. No. Okay. Though you are going so close by this. 
<laughs> it's tempting just to go ahead and get that done. I think I will. Let's get you dead even with it like I would in RimWorld. When you, they want to track two different directions when you want them to pick something up. Get as close as you can. Just keep working them in until they finally make contact. But let's stop you right about there. And oh, more scrap metal scavenged. And have you instead harvest that. And then when you're done harvesting that, you will have you haul that. Okay, Carter, let's do one more round. Scavenge, how are you doing otherwise? You could use some food after this. So we won't bug you after this. 12 o'clock, we have until... Did I get that wrong? Was it 8 in the morning? Or was it 9 in the morning or 10? I don't know when the bugs are going to attack now. So Edmund, let's have you come pick up that spear. I might have, got, have added that up wrong. So you equip that so we're ready to go. Just in case it happens faster than I thought. It might be closer to 2 in the afternoon instead of 4. So, and it takes an hour to walk in. But it's going to take these guys an hour to walk in too. They are clear up here. That's true. Lost harvest scavenged. Metal refinement. Metal refinement. Okay. Let's work on that. The stoves went over here last time. The, uh, the furnaces. And I kind of like that. So let's put you. We'll build two of you just like before. Uh, rotate you around. One and two. And that means we're going to need more of this done. Let's queue up the rest of this. Uh, mine everything. But yeah, Edmund is going to be a huge bonus to this. I can send him out to do things like the animal attack is beginning at 2 p.m. Okay. So we are on our way. Edmund is... Insulted Simon's sense of humor. Ah, uh, we got two geniuses that are not going to get along. I can research that better than you. You, you call that a joke? Okay, yeah. So Rita's transporting... Carter, you come on in and grab a meal. Eat some grain porridge, please. Get your, your foods up. How's everybody else doing food-wise? Edmund's in great shape. Simon's good. Rita is good. Paulette is fine. It's just uh, Carter that might be in a bad mood when, uh, when, it, when that happens. You guys are on your way. I'm curious to see what's going to happen as they cross paths here. They're not... They're, they're aggressive in general, so not just against us. They yeah, These guys are, whoa, whoa we're out of here. Where'd they come from? Oh, man, run! All right, so there's not, they're not fast enough to actually attack them. Yeah, he turned and left. Okay, so they are on their way. Now, some of them are heading kind of north. Well, they are... We'll see if they reroute, but I think they're just going to gradually work their way through and around. Okay, so who's out there? Edmund, you are the furthest one away. You're scavenging. You're going to finish off that scavenge anyway. Find a gun. Nope, you got cloth. Nope, that's fine. So you do that. They are where now? The bugs are right in here. It's time to get everybody in position. So Edmund, you are armed. You are going to draft. You are going there. Carter, you are in this area. Good. Draft, you also have a spear. You're going there. Um, Simon, there you are. Simon and Edmund, I'm going to be mixing up. I can already see that. You have a spear as well. Draft, and you stand back a ways. You have less combat skill, if I remember right. Um, is there an easy way to see? Well, I guess I can do that. Your combat is two, Edmund's is three, Carter's is, is only two. Okay. It's Rita who also oh, Edmund and Rita are tied for being the best ones. Okay. And Paulette is indifferent about it, but you have the pulse rifle. So you come over here and get ready just to shoot down the length. Rita is going to keep you safe by being right there. And Simon, you are going to be next to her as well. If anything gets through these two guys, then you can, uh, uh, he'll defend you. What do we have here? If I get everybody selected, 
I think I do. Yeah, everyone is he's got their spot. Five lines. All right, so they got the back door to get into, and antibiotics is is uh, I guess just finished fermenting. That's good to see. Nope. I want to cancel that. Okay, so everyone's in position. I'm guessing the bugs are going to track us. We don't have any pets or anything else. Yeah, they're they're funneling in. So let's just see how well this works. And will they attack automatically? Whoa. Or, oh, there we go. Yeah, or will I have to tell Carter to stab that thing? Oh, the pulse. Oh, he can, interesting. He can get through and he can get bit right through. Okay. So I need to back them up a space. So Carter, you're gonna go here. And Edmund, you're going to go here. Okay, stab, stab. And Rita, shoot. And Simon, get it. Okay. So we'll see how this goes. They're starting to get in. They're starting to uh, get around behind us. But we are funneling them in one at a time. And, and the stun gun is doing something. Okay, so Rita put down her gun and defaulted to her... Her, uh, melee weapon. That's good to see. And even Paulette nailed that thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. So good. So Carter, how bad are you? You are uh, bitten off flesh from your left foot. Ow. Okay. Boom. So they're stunned, and you're shot. And we're down to two left, we're down to one left. And we're done. Okay, well, um, our best doctor was Edmund. So Carter, you undraft and waiting for treatment. Okay, that's fine. Everybody else, um, if I were to do that, everybody will undraft. So is somebody still drafted? I'm just, I was seeing the red squares there. Okay. So Carter's going to go to bed and get himself fixed up. Did I ever assign that bed to Edmund? I didn't, but I probably don't have to. It's the only one left. Just got to thinking about beds. But Edmund, you can, I guess, work on, eh, Edmund, why don't you come out over here and just sit and relax for a moment. Until Carter gets into his bed, then you can go and treat him. We can see that happen. There we go. So, Edmund, can you heal Carter? So, we'll let that happen and we'll watch how it works. And we've got the antibiotics now, just in case he gets an infection from having part of his left foot bitten off. Ouch. So those scarabi are scary when when it really comes down to it. All right, waiting treatment, healing Carter. I didn't notice. Ooh, we have our first short, short bow. Didn't notice if um, he wouldn't pick up a first aid kit or not. But he's going to have to do this twice for his injuries. One to stop the bleeding. Uh, here we go. And he's done. Okay. Uh, consciousness. I don't see manipulation and movement having any issues. So maybe his left foot wasn't as bad as it could have been. Okay. So with that, where are we at? This is probably the end of the episode soon. This is the last day we'll do this time. But what do we need to clean up? Um, let's get Edmund, then, who has some some uh, some skills in combat to equip the short bow. You are right now transporting. So you go to equip and then how are you doing in general? Edmund right there, actually here. You're still in pretty decent shape. So Carter's up and going again. He's handling. Uh, Simon is researching. I was going to have Edmund. So tomorrow we'll have him get out there and research that the the leather the veggie leather 
we could get him to research some ore. Anything else immediately nearby that's got to be done? Uh, we haven't done the beef berries yet. Beef steak, something like that, beef berries. So there's three things for him to research. And then by that point, maybe we'll be building a cabin. Maybe him and Carter can work on that together. We will see. Paulette's crafting. Simon is researching. Rita is cooking. Carter's constructing. Everything is as it should be. Edmund is scavenging. So, another couple of minutes of... Oh, what was that noise? You! Man, you were noisy. Let's observe you. Output when butchered raw poultry meat and hides. Interesting. Hmm. So it's not just bug meat. We actually get chicken out of it. Huh. <laughs> when we get our bow and arrows in stock, maybe we'll try uh, some target practice. What was that last thing? We researched coffee. Ooh. Okay. How are we doing food-wise? We still don't have any of our buttermelon pie. Let's move that up to the top and figure out what the heck is going on. Hot drinks, coffee. Let's keep five of those, ten of those on the shelf at all times. That takes a lot of grain. Five of those on the shelf at all times. Um, until there's five. Okay. And I'll leave you where you are. We do need to make sure to always have food in stock. So, all right, we'll do that. And we did take off the glitter caps there. Coffee is made from grains. There's no other choices. Okay, so quick recipes. That one, that one. We're going to have meat soup soon. Tasties, you're there, and I don't know why you're not being made. And chefs, we're not quite there yet. Because we had all the ingredients. I guess we need to get out there. We need to actually harvest the berries. That's what's going on there. Okay. And... Rita is cooking. You just start something. Oh, you're transporting. And it is 20 hundred. Let's get you to make a batch of devices being used. Okay. Is it still now? Oh, oh, you're harvesting. Let's have you make some coffee. Boil coffee. Let's see that happen before we shut down for the night. Simon's eating some porridge, which is fine. It's breakfast food, but that means he won't be hungry for breakfast. And that's what confused me a couple episodes ago when I told Paulette to do that. She dropped in and she walked away and started handling torches. Like, wait a minute, go back. But it's because it's cooking. It's, she's boiling coffee. So a, a waiting worker, a waiting worker. Okay, there is no little bar in stock. Or maybe I don't have this figured out. <laughs> Carter is handling the furnace. Handling the furnace. Handling the furnace. So it just goes automatically into it. I didn't set that. Interesting. That's all there is to smelt. Awaiting materials. Huh. Okay. Well, let's get to working, and once that happens, we'll open up a bunch of crafting recipes and a bunch of research recipes, and I'd say we will see that next time. So, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll catch you later. Bye-bye now.